Previously on Birth Stories. Well, I've been doing cocaine for so long, it really screwed up my life. He just knew it. Mommy's gonna live in her house because she's very sad to live in Daddy's house with him. I'm for a nice clean cut rather than yeah, a bunch right. of tears. <laughs> I mean, I stay overnight, but I'll, I'll be obviously in and out a lot, so. since she had to give up dancing. On the last Thursday of every month, she makes the trek to the welfare office. Hi. Yeah, I'm doing two weeks. Wow. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, everything's changed in there now. Where our change rooms used to be, that's going to be the new VIP lounge. Good. Yeah. Wow. How's your little boy? He's fun, he's good. Great on. Thanks, baby. I got to go. I have things to do. You take care. She's from Hungary. She is just downright drop dead gorgeous, that one there. She is, whoo, yeah. Yeah, she's one of the European dancers. Um, my dad's in the stripping business. He's one of the world's biggest agents. And my dad brought all the Russian girls from, from Europe into Canada about uh, 12 years ago. I'm pretty sure she's one of the ones that came. I'm not, I'm not quite sure if my dad brought her, her in or not, but my dad's the one that brought all the Russian girls in from Russia years ago. I sent an email to everybody this morning saying that you were gonna email them with details of the weight, length. And that, what is it, just everyone? Yeah, well, because I figure you won't have time to call everybody, so. No, just, yeah, no, probably not, I don't think. So, um... You should read the email, it's funny. Is it? Yeah. Lauren said he, he read it today. What did oh, it say? Yeah. I said, said they were going to give the length of the penis, too. <laughs> well, that's nice. Tracy and Michael check in as scheduled. Her last labor was difficult, ending in an emergency C-section. This time, the C-section is planned. They're not taking any chances. It's like a lot of documents. That's the beginning. Don't this is just for the oh telephone, my honey. Dear. Is it? Yeah, I figured you'd, you'd at least want one in the room. Yeah, I guess so. Might be able to convince you to hang around if there's a phone in there. Well, honey, I'll be here for the process, but I have to go back and forth. I got a firm to run. Let's go get some food. Oh, good. The arm like guy. Oh, yeah. Sue has recently separated from her partner, Tyler, back in Boston. She has come here to Toronto to share the birth experience with her Aunt Anne. Mm, yeah, I'm like, it looks good. Doesn't it? Where did you get in it? Spinach, corn, mm. uh, tomatoes, mm. and cheese. Mm. I'm a bit shaky because I'm so hungry. Oh, OK. Well, this, yeah. So I wanted to tell you how happy I am about the decision to come up here, have the baby here. And you know, as far as us doing the hypnobirthing together, you know, I think not, that Tyler will be awesome, good, but I think that because you have, we have this sim similar background and thinking, you know, about our spiritual outlook on things. And I really believe in that kind of thing too. Mm. So I think it's really exciting yeah. that, we're, uh, that you want to do it and I'm totally supportive. Mmm, this pasta is wicked good. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm focused on food. <laughs> Right on. I, I got uh, 243 
$43 for the, uh, for the prenatal care and $200, $100 for food or $100 for food and $100 for the rest of my rent. So you take off all your clothes, your pants and bra, okay? I put this on with the ties to the back, okay? Give me some urine, all right? Put the urine on the side in there, okay? Okay. Socks um, and everything? Yes. Yeah. I can put my slippers on? Oh, I didn't bring No, any. you can take a, keep on your socks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But take off your pants and bra. Okay. All right. And Great. then we'll come and see you in a few minutes. Okay. Great. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Can I use the telephone? local? Pardon? Yeah, nine, down nine out first. Okay, so I'm on my own in here then. Okay. Right. Charlie, please. How's the stock doing today, ISS? We may start getting bid on our paper soon because they're going to Boston and Montreal on a marketing trip, so we may see some buying coming. Is there anything we own that's up a lot today? I dropped the cup. Do you have any calls on it? <laughs> the toilet. Good job. <laughs> do, you, do you have anything that's down a lot? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have any left. They wouldn't let me uh, drink anything. Give Taurus Capital 200,000 shares of So I really hope that Tyler and I can come to a good friendship and respect and be in commitment for our child growing up in that. And once I go back to the U.S., I think it'll be better. Because at least geographically, Tyler will be close to his child, so they'll be able to have a better, you know, connection, their relationship. Do, do you feel you feel nervous at all about raising a child on your own? Anytime I had thought about it, I only saw myself with a child. I didn't see a partner, even though I want a partner. You know? You'll have a partner someday. <laughs> And the right partner when yeah. the time is right. That's right, yeah. But whenever I pray about it, I always get that everything will be fine. I'm sure the universe will move to support you. Yeah. Wow, it is so good to see you. Cheryl bumped into an old friend at the welfare office. They both hit on hard times. Thank you very much. Excuse me, can I get a I quit dancing when I was five months pregnant because yeah. I was dancing at the Brass Rail. Right. And my stomach started to show, so I had to go on welfare. So I'm trying to change my life, you know. You're getting help. Yeah. You know what? Someday you'll help somebody else. So yeah. So yeah. Welfare is a fact. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it is. It's like saying the F word or something. Excuse me. Is there a possibility I can get a cigarette from you? Thank you. Can I grab a Thank you very much. Good afternoon. This is Cheryl Hamlin calling. Hi, I'm expecting a baby and I need some help. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. Hi, this is Cheryl Hamlin calling. I was wondering, how do I become a client? I've been worrying so much through the whole pregnancy, and now it's getting like 10 times worse because I'm so close and I still don't have anything from welfare. I don't have one sleeper, I don't have one baby blanket, I don't have a crib, I don't have a cradle, I have no baby car seat, I have nothing. But I don't want to have to, you know, look at my child and pull my hair out and go, my God, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? And I don't have a diaper, I don't have formula, I don't have anything, welfare's only giving me an extra 50 to spend for the month. That's ridiculous, $50 to spend for myself for the month. You know, that doesn't even give me anything to buy my baby anything. Yeah, just the fact that I don't have anything for the baby, I mean, I might have to result to uh, private adoption, you know, because I have nothing <clears throat> for the baby. Yeah, I feel that very, very strongly. But the way things are looking right now, it looks like I don't even have a choice. Because I'm not really getting that much help from welfare at all. You know, like I'm not using drugs at the moment. 
you know, like I have, I've been drug free for like five or six months. And uh, I mean, I'm due May 1st. Yeah, I'm going to buy 50,000 BC, but I want you to take your time. I don't want it done in the morning. I want you to carefully work it over the day. Tell if they fill it early, I'm not taking the order, so let them know that. <laughs> Yeah? What are you talking about? Just, I'm hearing the issues this morning I need to make decisions on. Do you need, hang, can you hang on a second? Do you need me, Trace? No, it's okay, just don't be long, okay? I want, uh, um, Andrea's not in today, right? Okay. And you have no interviews, nothing, it's pretty quiet then? Why do the clients, Hi. uh, you know, nice. only on the Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, we need to uh, do a strip yeah. before yeah. we go into yeah. the section room. I need to get I'll your IV started in that. Okay. okay, so I'm up on here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That looks like a comfy pillow in here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Nice. So what's happening? All right, so I'm gonna do uh, my purposeful meditation. I wanna ask the date that the baby's gonna come. Since I have Tyler coming from Boston, I want him to be here present at the birth. So that's the reason I did the purposeful meditation to find out when he should come up. So he'll be here for the birth. So I'll see now. Uh, I'll do a purpose meditation again now and see if I get that same day, hopefully. All right. Otherwise, that'll confuse matters, but we'll see what happens. So what I'm doing is going into a circular room within myself and um, I'm going to ask to be um, taken to, um, I'll, I'll envision a door and I'll ask to be taken to um, a room with books in it and one of the books will have my um, child's life in it. and. I'll ask to be shown the page that he's born on, and then it'll show the date, so then I'll know which date he's gonna be born. This is the spinal panel. This is yes. the spinal panel. This is my Once we get it in, we're gonna lie right there. Once like, it goes in, it comes out, right? Once it goes into this needle, this small, very fine needle. Yeah. Tiny little thing, goes into the right spot. Put the drugs there, that's fine. We put the drugs there, and then we take the needle out. Okay. Put a little paper towel on your back. It keeps things clean my side. Then put some local anesthetic in your skin. This is a sharp scratch, and then it stings. Okay, what I'd like to do is hold very still. If you feel any funny feelings going down your legs or on your back, let me know. Hold very still for me. Okay, you can see yourself up. That's the spinal all done. Wow, that doesn't hurt that much. You can get on tight. That doesn't hurt that much. That's fine. Nature left her partner last week, three weeks before her due date. She and her son Cairo are staying with family for now. You know what I fear more than like the actual move with the baby? Being, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm scared of being criticized. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm scared of being, I'm not scared, but I don't like being talked about by people that I care about. You know what I'm saying? What a stupid move that is. She's making it harder on herself and... It's better anyways, because that's hard doing. Yeah. We'll see how it works out. I think you just don't think. 
What do you do think? I think I thought, but I, I think I thought it would be different. Are you feeling anything down here? Yes. Are you aware of something? Yes. Yeah. 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 Pokey. It's fine. It's perfect. Okay. Is that sharp? Yes. Is that sharp? Yeah. Yeah. The drape goes up and then Mike comes in? Yeah. The drape goes up. It's a hat that sort of goes up above you here. Pig day. No. This is so much better than last time, huh? Is it? You look pretty calm. Yeah, it feels better. Good. They started about uh, three or four minutes ago. Great. Does your tummy feel okay? Yeah, I'm feeling a little kind of pukey. Feeling pukey. Is that your baby? What you doing to him? He's tired. He's tired? Maybe he should, what, maybe he should lay down? Hmm? Maybe he should lay down? He's not. I'm not tired? It's okay. Cairo, do you know you're going to have a real baby very soon? Where's your baby sister coming from? Mm -hmm. Is there a baby inside of my tummy? This is your baby coming out of your tummy. Well, it's going to be small like that. Huh? It's going to be small like that. Why? Well, mm, if they're too big, they can't fit in a tummy, Cairo. Are you happy with the new baby coming? I know it's, it's big because it's your tummy. It's, it's going to be big in my tummy? Yeah. Oh, like this? Like that? Oh. And then it's going to come out, right? Are you going to help come out or are you just going to wait at Grandma's house? Grandma's house. Okay. So we'll bring her we'll bring her when she I go rock to be me, okay? You're gonna rock the baby? That's a good idea. Sue's former partner is flying in from Boston today just in case the baby is born tomorrow, as predicted. Because it was my initiation for us to separate. Based on what we have, our relationship's really great. But there's that piece missing that's, um, for me, like I'm a really deep person, and he's not. And so it was always, it was missing for me because there, there was no connection there. It would be like nothing there to connect with, you know? And I really want that. Like I figure if I'm gonna have a lifelong partner, then I wanna have that connection for a lifetime. You know, he really wants to be a big part of his child's life. And I want him to be, too. I think it's important. And um, I know he'll be a good dad, so, you know, there's no reason why he shouldn't be in his child's life. Well, yeah, so let me show you this home birth kit. <laughs> Nature plans to deliver the baby at home with her midwife, but she is well equipped just in case things happen a little too fast. So this is it. Your pad, like the blue pads. Oh yeah. So she gave, so you know, a ton of gloves, gauze. I don't know what all this stuff is. I really don't know. Like connecting tube. What's a connecting tube? I don't know. Connecting tube and hydrophobic filter with vacuum breaker and filter. Whatever that is. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> all the right yeah, stuff. Yeah, all the right stuff. <laughs> they don't get here right away and you end up having them for here. Who's gonna do all that stuff? Wait. Whoever's home. Oh, goodness. Like I said, I just have to play it by ear. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, 